Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at Jack's Pirate Ship Playset from Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. Now this was the fifth movie in the Pirates of the Caribbean series. I believe this movie came out last summer in 2017. It's been a while. I think I saw it the one time in the movie theater and I haven't seen it since then. But I kind of remember enjoying it. I tried to look everywhere on the box uh, to see if I could find a year. And it doesn't have one. So I'm just going to have to go off of memory on that. But these did come out a while ago. Obviously they came out last summer. And I was always kind of interested in them. Because you can see the figures are kind of the same size as like Play School Imagine X figures. Uh, we'll do a little bit of comparison later on in the video. But they just kind of interested me. And I don't know. They just seemed a little bit more than I wanted to pay at the time. And I was kind of hoping they would go on sale or something. Or clearance later on. And then just kind of disappeared. But with Toys R Us uh, going out of business, everything is 50% off. So I decided to uh, grab a couple of these and check them out. See how they measure up. So you can see here we get the boat. You get a jack figure. You get a couple of cannonball missiles. You get a cannon down here. And then there is a shark hidden on this side. I can always... He always always miss him over here. <laughs> he kind of blends into the packaging. Uh, so you can see big picture Johnny Depp here on this side. Otherwise, not too much going on. Mostly just kind of a water motif. Now, these are made by Spin Masters, which I feel like their toys are kind of hit or miss. I don't get a lot of stuff from Spin Masters, to be honest. Just kind of works out that most of the stuff I buy just happens to be Mattel or Hasbro, Bandai sometimes. Not a ton from Spin Masters, but we'll see. We'll check it out. So you can see here on the back, it says, Fire the Cannons, Battle the Ghost Shark. And then it says Jack's Pirate Ship Playset. I'm guessing the Dying Gull is actually the name of his ship. Which I have to say that's a pretty hilarious name for a pirate ship. And then it shows here some two packs that are also available. Or actually these might not necessarily be the way the packs are broken out. But these are other figures that are available. Because I think this guy comes with a boat playset as does... This guy. You can see there's several different ghost crewmen. <laughs> and then this is the captain here. And then you have Will, Henry, Jack. This Jack has the coat and the hat. The one that comes with this does not. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Nothing going on on the bottom. So we will go ahead. We will get this out of the packaging here. So we can take a closer look. So here's everything you get in the set. You get the ghost shark. Two cannonball missiles, the cannon, Captain Jack, and then the boat, the Dying Gull. Uh, real quick, we'll just kind of start over here. So here is the Ghost Shark. It's not terrible. It's definitely not what I expected. Um, it's kind of just solidly molded out of like this kind of translucent-y plastic. Like I think there's definitely some hard plastic on the inside. But like you can tell like the fins, the extremities, the back of the tail is a little bit softer plastic. Which isn't necessarily a problem. And it does look kind of neat. I like the crazy silver eyes. And the teeth are nicely painted. I kind of hoped that the mouth would open and close. And it's a little bit softer plastic. Basically there's just no points of articulation. It's just a solid piece of rubber. Which is fine. Just not amazing. I was kind of hoping maybe the fins would be able to move a little bit. Or at least the mouth would open and close. Something like that. But it's just kind of a solid piece of rubber. So it's not terrible. But it's also not amazing. The cannon is pretty basic. But the wheels. Uh, the back wheels anyway. do. Oh no I guess both sets of wheels move. It's funny they almost look like they're not going to. But yeah both sets of wheels move. And they look pretty good. Nice molded in detail. The fake wood looks nice. You can see the button here on the top to fire. This piece on the back does nothing, although it almost looks like it might. And then, of course, you have your two cannonball missiles. Now, they are hollow underneath, which is a bit of a bummer, but not a huge problem. So you just load these in. And I do appreciate that when you do load these in... Hold on. Why am I I'm doing this wrong? There we go. When you load it in, you can see that the cannonball goes all the way inside. It would be a little weird if it like hung out. So I do appreciate that. And then you have the button. And fires very well. So <laughs> it definitely works well. I think the cannon definitely very nicely done. 
you know, the cannon can't move up or down. It is stationary, but I don't necessarily think that's a big deal. And then, of course, we have the little Jack figure. This is definitely my favorite part of the entire set. I think they did a really nice job with these. Very nice detail. The paint's very sharp. I think they did a great job. I like the style of the figures. It almost kind of reminds me of, like, uh, Disney Infinity kind of animation. So, very nice detail, very nice paint on the head. You can see they even gave him his little compass down here on his waist. And, of course, he has a sword. Now, the one thing that I will say is weird is the arm that doesn't have the sword can just move around. It can't go out to the side at all. But the one that does, you can see, has that extra joint so that it can move around but also out to the side. So, I like this. I just wish it could have had the same amount of articulation on both arms. I guess that was a cost-cutting measure. But at least they gave it to the arm with the sword. I feel like that's the arm you'd want it to have the most. The wrists do not move. The head does not move. And then you can bend at the waist as per usual. And then you have two peg holes in the feet so that he can attach to the boat. But it's a very cool little figure. I think they did a great job with the detail and the paint. I think that's where they really nailed it with this. Articulation is decent. I mean, it pretty much has all the same articulation as like an Imagine X figure. With the exception of the one arm. And the head can't move. But just for example, here is a size comparison with a play school figure. Basically about the same height as a play school figure. And then here is an Imagine Next figure, which the Imagine Next figure is just slightly taller, maybe half an inch taller. So I think it's fun. I definitely think they will fit in scale with most of your Imagine Next things. Should be able to fit in with playsets and vehicles for the most part. And I really enjoy the detail, the sculpting, the design, really everything about the figure. The only thing I would, like I don't care that the head doesn't move at all. I kind of wish both shoulders had the same amount of articulation, but it's not a deal breaker. At least you can move this arm. You just can't move it out to the side, so. I think they're pretty fun little figures. I like them a lot. So putting all that off to the side, we'll take a look at the boat. And the boat has some nice molded in detail, all of the kind of wood green to make it look like it's made out of wood. They did a nice job. You have some barrels, you have some windows around the back. I kind of wish the back was more exciting. And you have some nets over here on the side. I kind of wish that the boat was just a little bigger. I think this is the biggest boat in the series. And I don't know, like you literally can just walk on the top of the deck here. I kind of wish like they had a bigger, larger more intricate boat where you could be in the you know cabin back here in the back or have something underneath maybe to hold a prisoner or something like that they're all very just kind of basic boats i think there's only two or three boats in the whole line and they're they're very small like this and that doesn't make them bad i just wish that there were larger ones that were maybe a little bit more intricate but you can see the the gull here in the front where it takes its name Again, very nice intricate detailing there. I think that's cool. Some rope down here. This side has a couple screw holes, but not a big deal. It does have wheels on the bottom, just so that it can roll. And it rolls very nicely. The, uh, the captain's wheel can spin in both directions. And then if we come up here to just look at the uh, sails here, not too much going on. This piece can move. You can see right it's right here and right here that it can just swing around. This black flag is stationary on there. And that's pretty much it. All the rest of the sails are stationary. But they look good. I feel like they get the job done. So, very nice. So, I mean, overall, it is a neat little boat design. I just kind of wish it was a little bit larger, a little bit more grandiose. But you can see if we move this sail out of the way, there is one solitary peg near the wheel so that you can peg Jack in. So it can look like he is steering the boat. And he pegs in pretty nicely, except for when I don't do it right. You really just have to make sure you're lining it up. But there you go. So he pegs in. Now, of course, you can see this area right here is meant to have the cannon. 
and that lines up with this kind of indentation here so that's pretty cool i enjoy that i wish there were a few more peg areas like maybe just another peg over here or here or maybe even behind the cannon or something just so that way if you buy some of the other sets with the extra figures you know you could peg them in around the boat i kind of just wish they had more than one area to peg the figures but other than that it's a solid little boat not a heck of a lot of play to be had really just kind of you know, you put your character in the boat and you just move the boat around like he's sailing. And then, you know, you can have him get in a cannon fight with other boats. But other than that, you know, you can move the sail around. <laughs> I also almost wish there was a way to, like, attach the cannon to the boat. Just because otherwise it just rolls around in here. Which isn't a problem, but when you move him around, uh, it can roll around a lot. I don't know why he doesn't want to peg in here. I did it earlier and it was perfectly fine. There it goes. Now he's packed in. So I think that's cool. You can have him move his... Oops. Let me, that's one problem. Once you have him pegged in, you can't really move the sail. But I can move his hand up like he's using the wheel. So, I don't know. Final thoughts. I think it's a fun little set. If I paid full price of 25 for it, I might feel like I got ripped off. Well, I don't want to say that. Ripped off is too strong a term. I would say maybe I felt a little gypped, like it doesn't do enough for $25. Uh, but getting it half price for $12.50, I feel like it's totally worth $12.50. So if you're going to Toys R Us right now and you can find this thing for 50 60% off and you're paying $10 to $12 for it, I totally think it's worth your time. I mean, if you could get this thing for $10 to $12 like I did, I think it's a fun little set. I mean, my favorite part is easily the Captain Jack figure. I think they did a really nice job. I think Spin Masters really did a nice job with the figures. They have a decent amount of articulation. Sure, they could have more, but I feel like, you know, for what you need it to do, it has most of the points that you would want. Um, really, the other shoulder joint is the only thing I miss, and that's really not that big a deal. So I think the figures are nicely, pe nicely painted and detailed, nicely stylized, great articulation points for what you do get. And I think they're fun. The shark, meh, take him or leave him. I mean, he looks cool. I definitely love the creepy eyes. And the fact that he's kind of a bluish black. He blends in with the depths of the ocean. So I get what they're going for with the quote-unquote ghost fish. And I think the cannon works. I mean, like I said, could it have more articulation points? Could it move up and down? Sure. But do I need it to? No. I don't think you need it to, honestly. I mean, you can load in a cannonball. And it sits on the deck of the boat, and it fires said cannonball. I mean, I'm not picky. That's all I needed to do. So, I definitely think this is fun. Like I said, if you can find this set at a Toys R Us for 10 to 12 bucks, I totally think it's worth that price. And I think that these are going to be really fun little figures that can easily integrate with your Imaginex and Play School sets. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the... Captain Jack's boat, sorry, Jack's pirate ship playset from Dead Men Tell No Tales. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.